Nigerian actress Tony Tone says she was um, she once met a man who wanted her to give up her career for him. According to her tweet, um, she said, and I quote, I once met someone who on our first date said to me, I hope you're willing to give up this career and I will set up a business for you. I travel a lot and I need my babe to be with me all the time. Um, this one that you are always very busy, that was, uh, she says that was their last date. So um, I think I want to come to you if you're on this one. Um, I think um, any man who wants a woman to give up a career what she has worked out for for a long time despite your money even if you have all the money in the world that you can take care of a needs you can pay a salary you can do all that mm. you must be a very uh, low self-esteem man that's the way I see you because um, every I think every strong man wants a very successful woman so if I meet a woman today who has a very thriving career that is doing well for herself in her own field, I wouldn't want her to give up a career. Matter of fact, I would be like, how can I support this dream of yours? How can I support this career of yours? How can we make you bigger? How can we make you better? I would rather invest in you than tell you to leave your career because you want to be with me. Because at the end of the day, I can give you all the money in the world, but if I give you all the money in the world, will you be fulfilled? If you're not fulfilled, will you be happy? And if you're not happy, how am I going to be happy? Mm. Okay. Do you understand what I mean? <laughs> so it's just a very insensitive man and a low self-esteem man that would want any woman to leave her career. I understand when um, childbirth comes into play and you feel like, oh, she's too busy, she's not taking care of the kids. Like, what happened? I'm going to, sorry, I don't know the true story, but I'm going to say what happened between a bounce and um, what's um, the lady's name? I said that she she left the kid with oh, a nanny um, and she had no, to No, that was not a bounce. Um, that um, was um it wasn't a bounce though. I'm trying yeah, to but you know, know that story, story yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Where um a lady uh An where actress, the, yeah. uh oh what's his name? I know that guy. Um, where he came out to say that his wife mm -hmm. left the kids with mm -hmm. the nanny and then he did all of that. Yes, but when you're getting into a relationship, this is what we spoke about compromise um at the beginning of um of the week, yeah, or yeah, maybe last week or something. But we said, um, in a relationship, you have to compromise. You need to know what you're getting involved with. You need to know exactly what they do. You need to know how their time shadows are, so that. Sorry, Phil, let me jump in there because what you're talking about now is exactly what I wanted to say. I think the problem here is um, people going for what is not what they don't want. Because if you have some, if you're seeing somebody that already has a career and she's doing well, why do you want to go and meet her and tell her to drop her career? When they, and trust me, there are some women out there praying that a man will come and meet them and tell them to drop their current job or whatever they are doing to have a business and start following him up and down. You can always find somebody that is ready to do that. Not that you meet somebody that is fulfilled, she's happy with what she's doing, and then you want to be in her job. When he first said, um, know who you want to be with, I think that's the first thing. No, no, this person, I'm sure before they went on the first date, they probably started having a conversation. And I like, it's just, it's actually a first date. He said his mind. It's left for you to now tell him that, okay, you know what, let's do this. So you drop your own career, so you carry my bag everywhere I'm going. <laughs> be with me. <laughs> you get, I mean, first, that's what's the purpose of um, first date, is to say what you want and what the other person wants. And I'm glad too. it was the last guys, date, too. Yeah, you get, if you're not interested, I mean, for me, I, I really don't see any struggle, any fight in this thing. The, I, I, the only problem is that the man just went for what he does not want. Well, but then they said the heart wants, wants what he wants. Right, and I also agree with you that there is no quarrel in this matter. He was. <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's the truth. There's no quarrel in the matter. The man said, "This is what I want." He gave a reason to back it up, and you don't want it to be case closed. And it's good that she knows what she wants, and he knows what he wants, and they realize at that point that they do not align. I don't think, I would not agree that he has low self-esteem, mm -hmm. because if he has low self-esteem, he probably wouldn't be able to even come to the table to have that conversation, I think. So I feel like, yes, there are so many ladies that would be jump on that. I mean, there are even ladies that already have a career, and they're at that point where they feel like, OK, I think I'm exhausted. I just want to be a baby girl for a while. <laughs> even if you are for a while, right? And if that comes on the table also, it's OK, right? So I feel like um, the bashing this man is getting is just too much. Like. 
he was clear. He said he wants to be able to travel around with the person he was going to be with. And if he had gone a step further to start saying, oh, you are this, you are that, because you couldn't leave your job, then maybe there would be a problem. So I like that they are both matured. I don't know if bringing it to Twitter, I mean, this has um, no, started a lot of just conversation. just telling own story, and people just took it out of because for me, I, to be honest, I don't see any issue in this matter. Mm. This is what I want. Mm. No, I don't want. I, th I think what we, we as women should understand is that we, we don't need to take everything as um, someone being rude or looking down on you. Like if someone, I, I think I appreciate people being upfront to me. So if you're upfront to say, I've had, I've experienced something like this. In fact, I wasn't even on TV then. I was more on social media and my blog, right? And someone says, oh, um, if you're going to do this, oh, yeah, I was on radio then. If you're going to do this, then you have to stop all this and all that. And I just gently stopped the conversation and knew that I wasn't going anywhere because it was like, oh, you leave it, you travel out with me and do this and do that. But I knew that was not what I wanted and I wouldn't be fulfilled. Yeah, if I want... <laughs> <laughs> if I, even if I want someone to um, um, be part of my life, then you have to find a way to create an environment in my career that would help mm -hmm. us have time together. And that involves money, right? That involves investing. Mm -hmm. That involves having a plan and having a plan that you know that, okay, I'll work this hard for this period of time. And after this period of time, I'll be able to have set up a system that would allow me to do whatever I want to do when I want to do it, right? It doesn't mean that I'm going to be jobless for the whole 12 months. You, so, know, you know why I refer to men like that as being um, low self-esteem men? Because they want to actually be in control of everything. They want you to trap. When you say, I need my babe to always be beside me, is she like a trophy girlfriend or a trophy wife where you you need to carry around, which is why uh, Mike was getting bashed when he said he could not go anywhere without his girl. That anything that can't um, bring his wife Mike into. Mike was not getting no, no, bashed. No, 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 no. It was just um, what's his name? One, what's his name of this um, A.Y. Jenga brother? Yomikajo. Yeah, it was the one getting bashed. Yeah, it was even the one. Problem with yeah, him. yeah, but I'm saying that, okay, someone like Mike now mm -hmm. says his wife has to, but you won't see him tell his wife that you need to leave your career because I need you to always go with we me. Don't know if they so have I think, I think uh, all relationship has got their own peculiarity yeah. and what works for them. So if you want somebody that wants to follow you up and down, like Ewa said, Look for a person that is ready to do that. There are people that are ready. Yeah, to that be is honest. the life that they but want. But the heart is what it wants. Which is what I'm saying. They have the right to come to you and say, This is what I want. If you're on page, fine. If you're not, don't take it like they are putting you down or they want to ruin your life. I think, I feel like on Twitter, only, I, I people like, are always like, coming I, from that angle, like, like she, men like want to ruin she, their um, life. Con and do their own issue. I'm not interested, and that was it. Yeah, and that was the last day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're not interested, it's fine. It's very fine. But a lot of, really a lot of women, that. I think um, another problem is a lot of women will lead such a guy on and be like, okay, I'll think about it, mm -hmm. and then just, just because of what they're trying to get at the moment, mm -hmm. and then when that guy now gets forceful, you now come out and say, oh, look at what happened, and then you bring out the soul. But in her case, she knew exactly what Which was going on. Which is why I said on. both of them and are yeah, so, so matured, and I love the conversation. But you don't know what happened afterwards. She just said one well, side. Well, we are looking at what she told us. Yeah. I don't, <coughs> if she wants us to know what happened afterwards, she should come and tell us. But right now, from what she said, I think both of them were so matured and yeah. handled it right. He yeah, knew what he wanted, she knew what she wanted, and they knew that it could not work for them coming together. It's that simple. But me... My own advice to everybody is that if what you're doing is what you want to do, don't drop it for anybody. Mm. Because trust me, a lot of women drop... Um, not family, family, not a man. Yeah, a lot of, they drop family, they drop their career, they drop a lot of things just because of marriage. I don't think it's really nice. At the end of the day, most people that have done that will come out and tell you... Um, they regret doing, they regret doing it. Mm -hmm. it. So I feel... If you're doing anything that you love, don't abandon it for anybody. At the end of the day, if they leave you, what do you run to? your passion. <laughs> <laughs>